Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Anticult. This is the seventh full-length album by Polish death metal group Decapitated. Decapitated formed in 1996 and became huge fairly quickly with their 2000 debut Winds of Creation. This showcased a mix of the melodic riffs of death and the visceral and intense tech death of early cryptopsy. Over the years, Decapitated have shed their tech death roots and lean more towards groovier death metal. Their previous album, Blood Mantra, featured head-spinning riffs peppered with noodly Meshuggah-style guitar solos that all sat alongside breakneck speed drums and clinical, aggressive vocals. This album is a small progression from the sound on Blood Mantra. There is more emphasis on the grooves here. The riffs are more streamlined and chuggy, the song structures are more straightforward, and there are less changes in speed. The noodly guitar solos are replaced with a more melodic and epic sound. There are solos all over this album, and a majority of them are flashy and soaring. When the band slows down, they go for a more foreboding sound, such as on songs like Amen and the solo from Earthscar. This combined with the At The Gate style drum work shows a leaning towards melodic death metal. There is a strong possibility that their next album will depart further from tech death and explore mellow death in its place. It'll be interesting to see if they can successfully meld together the heavy chugginess of groove metal and the noodly melodic riffing of mellow death, which can be pretty disparate. One of the more obvious issues with this straightforward and chug-based riffing is that there is less diversity in the music. The singles painted an unfortunate picture for this album because they are so similar to the material that was on Blood Mantra. Earthscar starts off with a riff that's nearly identical to Blood Mantra's title track, and it has the same polyrhythmic intensity of instinct. This becomes an even bigger problem when these tracks lack the interesting detours that made Blood Mantra so great. Nearly every track on here could have been a cut from Blood Mantra, but left out because of the lack of progression or captivating songwriting. This album is extremely frustrating by how middle of the road it is. There is some great design for the album as a whole, which is a positive. It sits at an ideal 37 minutes, which shows some pretty prudent editing of their material, and the production is the best on any decapitated album yet. It makes multiple listens in a row entirely possible despite the constant barrage of intensity and aggression. At the same time, the material here is so reminiscent of their previous album that a large chunk of the time I would rather listen to that. After listening to this album, I got pieces of songs stuck in my head, but I wasn't entirely sure if they were from this album or if they were from Blood Mantra. This is exacerbated because, overall, the songs here are just okay. There isn't anything really captivating going on aside from the occasional cool drum pattern or a nice solo. It's also difficult to talk much about the lyrics because they don't seem to be present anywhere online. The track title suggests that there is an anti-religious overtone across the album, with these track names like Kill the Cult and Amen and the cringy Death Valuation. Like, ugh, it feels gross to even say it. This isn't to say that the album is entirely bad, though. The drum work shines the most on here. There are some really blisteringly fast blast beats to be found everywhere. Angerline begins with a ridiculous drum fill that plays into impossibly fast blast beats, and the intro of Impulse follows at about the same speed. The end of Earthscar also has some of the most technical moments on the album, with some quick chugging over some head-spinning drum work. When they aren't playing at full speed, they usually adapt a traditional death metal drum beat, which acts as a nice backdrop to the chuggy riffs. Overall, this album is fine. It's relatively inoffensive, and it has a few moments of greatness, but aside from the stray solo or the impressive drum work, it's very forgettable, which makes it really frustrating as a fan of Decapitated and as a reviewer. If you haven't heard Decapitated before, then this is a good litmus test to see if you're a fan of their newer sound. If you're a longtime fan, then it's worth a listen, but if you're a diehard Tech Death fan, this album may leave a lot to be desired. If you're looking for straightforward aggression condensed into 38 minutes of music, then this is a good choice. It would also be a good listen if you're having a party and everyone's a fan of this kind of metal, and then it makes for some nice ambience. But if you're looking for something with more diversity and unexpected turns, then forgo this album and give Blood Mantra or some of their earlier stuff a listen. I'm just hoping they can find the creative forces to make their next release more captivating and interesting. What did you think of this album? I would love to know your thoughts, whether you liked it or hated it or whatever. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. Tune in next week for a review of the new Execration album, Return to the Void. I've also got a special short video planned for the new Circus Survive single. I'll see you guys next time.